I think that you, Samantha B, are uh, grossly overrated. I don't want to say grossly overrated. I think you're immensely untalented, unfunny, to a point that I very rarely use the word offensive, but you are offensively unfunny. And what bothers me even more <laughs> is that a no-talent, mediocre, nothing wants to remove voices simply because they disagree with her and they happen to be more successful than her. <laughs> Question of the day. Now, we've talked about uh, big tech's clear censorship and throttling of, of the right uh, for a while. And we'll discuss that in relation to Samantha Bee and PragerU, the most recent mm -hmm. controversy. But to conservatives out there, I I I'm curious, what would be required, I, I mean, if anything, for you to call for the banning or shadow banning of a left-wing channel or a host like Samantha B, short for B. I've, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen a mass movement like this from the right. Like I've seen boycotts, yeah. but I've never seen anyone on the right calling for channels or hosts to be removed. So it's just a thought exercise. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Um, it's a little desperate. All right, so some context here. Samantha B's her, her latest crusade is about proving that conservatives are not being censored on social media. Uh, right. yeah, according to Samantha B, big mm. tech is actually bowing to the right's demands. And <laughs> okay. um, she was Where talking specifically about PragerU. Let's yeah. let's before we get to Prager you, let's just take this and I'm so sorry that you have to watch these clips. But and I know this is the only place anyone's seeing Samantha B. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to it's clip true. A. I'm very tired. Last week, a major pro-Trump PAC ran Facebook ads that falsely claimed Joe Biden criminally abused his power, a lie that misinforms voters about Trump's impeachment case. The only thing Joe Biden has criminally abused is this ice cream cone. Uh, mm. Oh boy. I don't think I have the strength. I don't think I can do this today. <laughs> yeah, she's so, it hurts. Well, it you hurts. Did, it's difficult, the you stupid. You did say that Trump was guilty for saying I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from Yatsunik and they would take action against a state prosecutor. They didn't, so they said they had. They were walking out to a press conference. I said, nah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give you the billion dollars. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. You're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here in, I think it was about six hours. And I looked at him and said, I'm leaving in six hours if the prosecutor is not fired. You're not getting the money. Wow. Well, son of a bitch, he got fired. Oh, wait, I think you know, spoiler, that was Joe Biden. Oh. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. Oops. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. Am I the only huh. one who doesn't believe that that man ever quit drinking? <laughs> For three years, the leftist media falsely claimed that Donald Trump colluded with Russia, that he abused his powers, that he obstructed investigations. He was acquitted of all of these charges. Should, should, should every member of the DNC be banned from Facebook? I do believe so, yes. You do not I do not so. believe so. By the way, this is important because she's been pushing <laughs> these lies for a long time. She, from painting Brett Kavanaugh as a race, uh, rapist, also a racist, I'm sure. Yes. Spreading the, the Donald Trump, the, the P-tape hoax. This time last year, Republicans fast-tracked this poison ivy leaguer to the Supreme Court, oh. despite wow. credible accusations of sexual assault. Just one of those classic moments where the first black president gives a farewell speech while the next president watches two chicks piss on a bed. <laughs> Um, oh, that, I don't even know. What's with that jacket, that? too? Yeah, the wardrobe. Yeah. It it's, looks like she's about to convince a small Iowa town that she's a band director. <laughs> yes. I don't know if anybody's seen Music Man. It looks like, no. anybody it looks no. like Waldo would swipe right for her on the camera. <laughs> oh, All right, let's go to clip. Navita. I'm sorry, it's in my head now. Conservatives love to claim they're actually the victims of bias from social media companies. People are very concerned that conservative voices are going to be suppressed on social media. These social media outlets censor public figures who are conservatives. Cruz isn't the only conservative who thinks big tech is hiding his post because he's right wing. They even have a special name for it. They shadow ban Jim oh Jordan and Mark Meadows and Ronna McDaniel. Every day I receive thousands of messages saying I'm being shadow banned. To be clear, there's no evidence that shadow banning conservatives oh. is a thing, even though the president has been collecting his own data. I have people come up to me, sir, we want to follow you. They don't let us on. She's right in a manner of speaking and that conservatives aren't being shadow banned anymore. They're being outright banned. That's yeah. true. This can right. look absurd yeah. if your audience is not aware of what's been happening with social media. But anyone who's been following it knows that this is true. A Apple, they've banned apps just for being pro-life. Yep. Yeah. Right? Same thing with yeah. Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. They've all banned sites like Infowars along with other conservatives. This yeah. is important to note. We'll get to our situation in the Vox Apocalypse. Again, sorry guys, I really didn't mean for it to happen. <laughs> so yeah. let's move on to my favorite topic to um, be berated on uh, from comedians, the banning of free speech or any views with which they disagree. Here she goes on PragerU. 
PragerU is actually a massively successful part of a growing hub of the online right-wing media machine. They have oh. been funded mm -hmm. by Makes GOP mega donors, and their like videos that. are specifically aimed at middle school and high school children. Even worse, those videos get billions of views. PragerU <laughs> is actually they dangerous. Laugh? They are know, reaching right? a new younger audience with bullshit conservative propaganda. Oh. They trick kids into thinking their videos are educational, even though PragerU is as much of a real college as Monsters University. <laughs> PragerU, which itself is short for Prager University, as in their own website saying, Prager University is not an accredited academic institution, <laughs> but it is a place where you are free to learn. So comedians are fact-checking mm. cute titles as opposed to you being literal with your full frontals, Samantha B. By the way, yeah. uh, this no, nobody wants to see that. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. this show isn't even definitively all that louder. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't hey, had stop being cute, yet. Steven. It's so. just unreal to me that a comedian is wanting to give someone flack for having university in the name because it's an educational right. series of video. I don't, videos, I just I didn't use my plural because of the French Canadian. It's blame Canadian. my mother. Do they think baby Einstein? Like, what are they? Are they furious? <laughs> they that that's not real. Is not a member of Mensa. Yeah. <laughs> Note something else that's really important here. You know how they always accuse the right of uh, secret dog whistles, like racist right. dog whistles. Remember yeah. socialists? We said, hey, I think it's a socialist policy. They were saying, yeah. well, that's because you secretly want to use the N word. So everything's become <laughs> right. a racist yeah. or sexist or homophobic dog whistle. Well, here's something: if we're going to use that standard of dog whistle, that isn't really a, a dog. It's just a whistle whistle because everyone yeah, can hear it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Samantha B goes on to claim that Prager U is really dangerous. Dangerous, and she tweeted that out, reiterated it. And that's important. Why? Because that's specifically what YouTube policies prohibit. If you look them yeah. up right here, YouTube dangerous content. There we go. You got an overlay. So when you say that uh, a YouTube channel is dangerous, what you are definitively saying here, there's no doubt you're saying, please ban this channel. Right. You have looked up the YouTube policies, a reason for banning, legitimate reason, according to YouTube, is if they are a dangerous channel. Right. And yeah. you've accused the old Jewish white-haired guy who just supports Israel free speech and lower taxes of effectively being a dangerous <laughs> Nazi. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, as opposed to uh, Mug Club, where we have uh, extended yeah. and full-length shows that you don't get every day on YouTube, please do hit the notification bell, hit all notifications uh, on YouTube, because subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. And and uh, right. do consider joining Mug Club. Okay, I think we have. Do it. Uh, oh, yeah, this next clip, this is one of the most uh, consistent logical fallacies that you hear a lot. Right. And it's because it's, it's hard to sort of check against. There's no anti-conservative bias on social media. Oh, because you said so. On Facebook, uh, right and left-leaning pages get nearly identical rates of reactions, comments, and shares with conservative media outlets such as Fox News consistently getting some of the most engagement. Okay. <laughs> It couldn't be less relevant. Here's right. the, all that exactly. proves that conservatives are doing well despite shadow banning. This is something that a lot of people outright banning. This is something a lot of people get wrong. Happened a lot with uh, with uh, uh, Phelps, the the swimmer. Yeah. He, yeah. It turned yeah. out that he ate McDonald's almost every day. Yeah. We're like, well, you know, it worked for Phelps. No, it didn't work for Phelps. He probably would have been better had he not <laughs> eaten McDonald's every day. Yeah. But if you were graced by God with a nine foot wingspan, yeah. hand the size of an albatross's wings, yeah. and a size. 19 shoe that could be put up in a museum, then maybe you too could eat McDonald's every day. It doesn't mean that right. he ate McDonald's, therefore he's successful. Hey, conservatives have the same net engagements after all of this, therefore they're not being throttled. No, that's not the case. Maybe their content is doing so much better than the leftist content that it breaks through anyway, despite the fact that we have videos, definitive lists showing the blacklist of conservative content. You do have to look at the root cause of this, not at the results, and that is important. Yeah, we have this right here. Uh, this has happened uh, with us, of course, Pinterest, shadow banned, um, live action, la they labeled them pornography. Right. Ben Shapiro Jeez. commentary was, was censored. Planned Parenthood undercover videos, they were marked as harmful. Let me make sure I get this correct right here. Uh, I, I, there's so many, I've forgotten about these. Uh, marked ben as harmful. Facebook, right? Yeah. Facebook, their fact checker, Snopes, they have repeat <laughs> <laughs> repeatedly shadow banned right, well, right wing uh, satire site Babylon B, uh, labeling it as fake news. It's too close right to now, if you crazy. go on the Crowder Bits channel, the seven plus one <laughs> ways celebrities are fighting climate change, which yeah. included, by the way, right. Lizzo turning herself into a raw milk share, yeah. is fact checked by YouTube as being <laughs> climate change propaganda. Uh. It's not even expressing an opinion. Uh. <laughs> if you search awesome. Up until very recently, Steven Crowder changed my mind. If you yeah. search that on YouTube, yeah. that was blacklisted for a long time with no videos. 
from this channel showing up in, in search results. Granted, uh, months later, YouTube, yep, they fixed it. Thank you guys, we appreciate that. But a lot of searches are still blacklisted. For example, right now, if you search Steven Crowder abortion, you're not going to see any videos uh, from, from this yeah. channel on the first page of results. And here's what matters, right? Just because we caught that, right. and that's a good thing, and we got it fixed when you type in Steven Crowder changed my mind. At one point, I think it was going to a PBS video from four years oh, ago yeah. 20,000 plays. Please <laughs> tell me how that algorithm will make you more profitable, Google Alphabet Inc. I'm very curious, <laughs> but... What what does Matt, what are the chances if you specifically search Steven Crowder abortion and it doesn't yeah. show up that when you type in abortion debate it shows up when you type in pro life arguments that it shows up if you type in Steven Crowder changed my mind in the title of the video and it doesn't show up what happens if you type in second amendment discussion will it show up so there, there's no you can have no hope to actually be suggested alongside the likes of samantha b if people are specifically searching for content they've already seen from you happen to know the title by rote and they still can't find you. But yeah. then at the end of the day, because you guys, and we thank you so much, you bookmark this page, check in every day because we have new videos that go up at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern every day. Mm -hmm. The plays, if you were to look at them, you'd say, oh wow, they're doing well. We're doing well in spite of all of that. And that is by and large because unlike Samantha B, who's propped up by a multi-conglomerate uh, corporation, <laughs> uh, we're, funded, we're not funded by a foreign caliphate like the Young Turks or some giant corporation never. like Viacom TBS. It's by hand etched mugs and you and your your boxers with a can of <laughs> Cheetos. I see you and right there. And we love there. you. Run the clip. Please. There's literally no evidence that conservatives are being silenced, which makes the fact that tech companies are bowing so. to their demands even more insane. In response to accusations of bias, Facebook partnered with right-wing organizations to fact-check posts and hired John Kyle, a former Republican senator, to do an audit of the site. Zuckerberg also had at least two private meetings with Donald Trump at the White House, but don't worry, nothing shifty happened. People would say the optics weren't good. Did he try to lobby you in any way? Uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't think that that's... That, uh, I think some of the stuff that people talk about or think gets discussed in these discussions are not really how, okay. how that works. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so, so the premise here is that there's no, there's literally no evidence of conservatives being censored, which is, of course, false. Just type right, in uh, Facebook blacklist, YouTube blacklist. You can find these things, and you can type them in, in our channel. But then Samantha B says that big tech is bowing to the demands of conservatives just by having one conservative or Republican at the table. Samantha B, <laughs> this yeah. proves that you don't believe your own premise because yeah. you think that even a single conservative being involved with big tech is some sort of capitulation. Yeah. But again, by we can make an inference there that you believe big tech is by and large 100% left leaning and that it should be 100% left leaning. Yeah. You maybe yeah, believe it's 99%. If there's one conservative, it's a problem. And you want it to be what? 100%? What's the number? So far, again, YouTube, Google, Facebook, they've employed, they mentioned one conservative organization. They're going to talk about fact checking. Yeah. yeah. They also have uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, far left organizations, Southern Poverty Law Center, ADL, Snopes, BuzzFeed, Sol I, I don't Salon? Know, Salon to fact they check. They can't even fact check themselves. Well, I thought anybody they else. were too busy promoting pedophiles. They were. So I just want to be really clear <laughs> here. If we want to compare go tit for tat, then please show me the counterbalance to all these leftist sources. And apparently Zuckerberg meeting, it's, it's bowing to conservatives' demands? I, I, I don't understand this. It's, just, it's making the field slightly less uneven. Keep in mind, too, something else. YouTube partners with Vox. They're producing a show with Vox. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they promote reach. them on, uh, on uh, what is it, the YouTube learning channel? I don't even know what that is, oh my but it's a thing. And then uh, they just recently uh, invested in the Young Turks journalism project. Oh my gosh. Oh. You know. We now know what it would take to please Samantha B. I think that's, that, that's, that's, the, cool. that's the silver lining yeah. from this segment. Think about it. Yeah. What Samantha B. wants is for us to ban the only right-wing educational channels that are available. Uh, this is a right. channel, by the way. It's not enough that they already have their content marked as... Um, Age restricted, and of course that they are uh, demonetized. So this is one thing. Prager is in a lawsuit right now because they're videos that have no profanity, that really don't have all that controversial content. No. Age restricted, demonetized. Well, content like Samantha B. I don't know if they're entirely monetized, but I see ads running on them all the time. Yeah, so it seems yeah. to me like we have a world with Samantha B. where she says Prager U is dangerous, which is not a dog whistle. It's simply very basic speak for please remove this channel. Uh, they want them. What, what is the ideal world? Does anyone else know? Hmm. I can't, I mean, 
no right wing voices at all. It yeah. seems no to me center voices that at all. Right now, the only scenario in which Samantha B is happy is if every single right leaning channel is removed. Because here's the thing: yeah. we've talked about this before. When when people like uh, like Alex Jones, who I know isn't necessarily conservative, or people who are more controversial figures are removed. If someone wants Prager U removed, they effectively want all voices of dissenting opinion removed from the platforms of, of modern life. It's important to note that, by the way. This is how people communicate. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, basically three companies. You're yeah. talking about Facebook going yeah, to Instagram. Right. These, yeah, yeah. This is the town square, the open town square. And unfortunately, you have people like Samantha Bee who go out there or people who work for other giant corporations, whether it's NBC, Vox, or ABC, Viacom, or Disney Universal. And they go out there and they act as mouthpieces where at the same time, they're asking for voices of disagreeing opinions to be removed, as well as their competition. And that's what you're seeing right now with Samantha B. And if yeah. there's something that I have wrong, Samantha B, you'd be more than welcome uh, to, to appear on this show and correct me, correct the record. Because I do have some evidence I'd like to go over with you and talk about <laughs> as it relates to conservative shadow banning, conservative throttling, conservative outright banning. And I can actually just send you some screenshots of this channel, by the way, <laughs> exactly. along with every single news article that relates to the Vox Adpocalypse. Here's the thing. I think that you, Samantha B, are uh, grossly overrated. I don't want to say grossly overrated. I think you're immensely untalented, unfunny, to a point that I very rarely use the word offensive, but you are offensively unfunny. Funny, and what bothers me even more is that a no talent, mediocre, nothing wants to remove voices simply because they disagree with her and they happen to be more successful than her. All right, you let me know what it would take to request that Samantha B be removed. I have. I think it's great for her to be out there because I want you, by the way, out everyone out there. When you think feminist, social justice warrior, leftist, okay, I want you to think. Samantha B. So Samantha B, if we could get these uploads to a little more regular than once a quarter, because I know you need more time off. If you could start doing these every single day, I want you to be the ambassador. I want you to be emblematic of today's feminist screeching talentless left. I will go to the ends of the earth to defend your channel and your program to make sure that it is on the air for as long as humanly possible, so long as I don't have to watch it. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe or hit the notification bell and hit all notifications because uh, not all notifications work now if you just hit the normal notification bell. I think there's some videos playing in boxes. But, of course, do consider uh, subscribing at ladderofcutter.com slash mugclub because there's a bunch of content that could never make it onto YouTube. And I think the, the box is playing. There's a video playing in a box. with.